Hey, what's up guys? Joe Gas here. I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I really apologize. I've just been slacking in general. Now that it's 2012, I'm going to make it one of my resolutions to start making videos more often. And the first one of the year is going to be how to create your own city repo. Now about three years ago, I created a repo of my own called the Packager Repo. And a lot of people asked me, Joe, how do I create a repo? How do I create a repo? And I just never got around to making a tutorial on how to do it. And today I finally am. Um, so what we're going to be doing is creating your own custom city repo, similar to like Mod My Eye, Big Boss, or whatever like that, where someone can add and download your own packages. Now, why would you want to do this? Why can't you just host it on a big trusted source? Well, sometimes you want to host beta um, apps, beta of your apps that you don't want publicly, but that you can just send to a few people, or so you don't have any restrictions, because trusted sources have restrictions. Of course, they need restrictions, or else they wouldn't be considered trusted. Anyway, so what you're going to need is install a f to install a few things. You need to install bzip2, think, and you also need your own host and domain. So what we want to do is install think, first of all. So here's think right here. I'll put this link in the description. You want to click for OSX 10.5-10.7, use think. Click this link right here, and it's going to download. And so if we go into my download folder I have right here, here is the think folder. All right. So now what we're going to do is follow the steps. Now previously in Leopard, this was pretty much a package file. You opened it up and it would install it for you. Now you're going to have to do some work in Terminal. So go into your, your Utilities folder in your apps and open up Terminal. And here we go. Um, I'm just going to clear this really fast. And you could pretty much read this tutorial if you're familiar with Terminal. I'm just going to do it for you guys. So it first says to go to the directory of the Fink you installed. So I'm going to do CD and drag in the Fink folder we just downloaded right there. Then it says to do um, dot slash bootstrap. And now we're going to go through a setup. This is pretty much like installing a package. Instead of just typing in stuff and doing check marks, you're doing this manually in terminal. So choose a method, and here's your methods. And where it says choose a method, it has the preferred option. So what you want to do is just do one, since that's preferred. Type in your password. And we want to do, it says preferred is slash SW. So we'll do that. We'll press enter since there's nothing there. Enter. Two, that's preferred. None, press enter, press enter. Yes is preferred. Eight is preferred. One, five, five, one, 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 one. And there we go. It's downloading. And I'll be back when this is done. This is probably going to take around five minutes. It's pretty long. And I'll be back. All right, so we came to a part in the installation where it asked, default answer will be chosen in 60 seconds. The list of possible mirrors in Fink has been updated. Do you want to review and change your choices? So you want to press N for no, because you've already made your decisions. And it is going to continue this installation. Alright, so Fink is finished downloading, and we're going to go back to the website and finish this tutorial. And it says, after the installation is complete, running the command, so we copy that, we'll set up your environment for Fink. So let's copy that command and run that right now. It's going to say, um, it, for you, it might come up with a different message. Um, it, just click yes from that bubble, and then press OK. Your environment is set up. Um, and then what you want to do right here is think self update r sync. Now once you've set up your environment, if you're doing this for the first time, you want to make a new terminal window. And then paste in this code. Type in your password obviously, and that's just the password for your account on your Mac if you are unfamiliar with that. And think will update. So Fink is successfully installed and updated. We can close these two terminal windows. Next thing we're going to be installing is bzip2. 
What BZIP2 is, it's pretty much this compressor that turn, that Cydia reads in your repo and you need it if you're going to make one. So what we want to do is here is the tarball, we click that link, it downloads. And here is the BZIP2. CD space drag your downloads folder in there. What you want to do now is sudo make install. And that was easy. It just installed bzip. So now if we do bzip2, it's going to say for help, type bzip2 dash dash help. That just lets you know the command is successfully installed. All right, we have bzip2 and fink installed. Now we're going to go about actually creating the repo. So go head over to your Macintosh HD now. Uh, this could be anywhere, by the way. On your computer, I'm putting this in my hard drive because I guess it feels more official. <laughs> Make a new folder in here. It's going to ask for your password, or maybe not. And uh, what we want to do is we're going to name this repo. We can name this whatever, actually, but I'm going to name this repo. And this is where all your repo files are going to go that you're going to put on your um, server. Next, we're going to make a new folder. I guess I'll call this one packages. This is actually going to be all your files that you're adding to your repo. You'll, this is never going to be in your server, but this is where you put your files that you will be creating dev files to be put in this repo folder. So anyway, in your packages folder, this is where you will add your packages. So make a new folder in here, and this is the title of your theme, your app, your mobile substrate, tweak, anything really. Um, I made a quick mobile substrate tweak before this video. It's completely pointless, but it works, and it will give you an example of installing a package. So let me see if I go over to... Here it is, Lemon. Um, so it's called Lemon. I don't know, don't ask me. And what this is, it just in your notes app, when you add a new note, a pop-up is going to come up. And it, it's completely pointless, but it's a, it's a tweak nonetheless. And here is where you put your files. So here's your package name, and here's your files. Now think of this as the root directory of your iPhone. Now, so if we go to Cyberduck, I'm already SSH'd in. You would install mobile substrate, substrate plugins in library, mobile substrate, dynamic libraries, and here's all the files. So what I'm going to do is make a new file in here. I'll call it library. Just think of this just like you're, you're navigating through your iPhone. Mobile substrate. Then in there, dynamic libraries. And in here is your file. So I'll drag in the plist. And I'll get the dynamic library file I created. And that's that. Now, say you're making a theme. You would entitle your theme. In Lemon, you would go to library. And instead of mobile substrate, you would add a folder called themes, and that's where you would drop in your theme. And that's pretty much how it works. So now that you have that idea, um, in this lemon folder, we're also going to be creating a new folder called Debian. All capitals, just like that. And here you need a control folder file. So open up text edit really fast. And we're going to go to Preferences in Text Edit. Make sure you have over here in New Document Plain Text selected. Yours is probably going to say Rich. Open and Save over here. We're going to want to uncheck Add.txt extensions to plain text files. You want that unchecked. Once you have that configured, X out. Make a new Text Edit. And it should look exactly like this. I'm going to go in to How to Host a City of Repo by Jay Freeman, the guy who made Cydia. Um, and he has a tutorial. That's pretty much what I'm reading off of when I'm making this for you guys. But um, anyway, so we'll copy this in here. And this is his control file input. We'll paste that in here. And package, we're going to do for the package, that's pretty much your bundle identifier. So com, your company name, 
I'm just gonna put Joe Gas. It doesn't really matter. Dot the package name, so I'll do lemon. The name is lemon. The version. Um, basically, how this works. This is the build version of your app, and the dash is the um, how many updates there have been on Cydia. So, if, say if it's version 1.0. You would do 1.0 dash one since that's the build and this is the first time it's been on Cydia. Then when you update it, it'd be like 1.1, but then you would do dash two since it's the second time it's been updated. I'm just gonna put 1.0. It doesn't really matter what I just explained, but that's kind of how he likes it to be. Keep the architecture at iPhone OS dash arm, and for the description, I'll just put a pointless mobile substrate tweak mm, now for the home page you'll put your website and depiction now if you look in these big repos big boss mod my eye they have a the they have basically like screenshots. You could look at your download, um, the number of downloads, rate the package, follow the guy on Twitter. There's a bunch of fields. And what that basically is is an iframe. It's a website with an iPhone looking template that blends in with the package to make, you know, a little bit more user friendly, add some more options. We don't really need that. So um, if you want me to tell you how to get that to work, just post it in the comments. I might make a new, I'll make a new video telling you how to get that working. But for now, we're going to delete that since that's pretty much unnecessary. Maintainer, this is the person who maintains the repo. Obviously, that's me. And I'll put my email in there. Author, the person who wrote the package. Now, in this case, the maintainer and the person who made the package is exactly the same. So I guess I will do that. Sponsor, we don't have a sponsor, so we don't need that. And section is the section the package is going to be under. So there's a section called tweaks, and that's where this is going to be under. You could even you could put whatever you want in here, and when someone adds your repo, it'll add a new section the city of where that will be under. Anyway, this is a mobile substrate plugin, so it needs to depend on the mobile substrate um, download for this to run. So what we have to do um, anywhere really, I'll just put it right here. Do depends mobile substrate. Um, for example, if you're making a theme, you would do depends winterboard. Um, anything that depends something else for it to run, that's the name of the package you will put here. And you want to put an enter at the end. You want to make sure there is a blank space right under this last field. I don't know exactly what that does, but if you don't do that, it won't work. Call it control. And drag your Debian folder in there. And press save. And there you have it, a control file. Well, that was a lot of explaining. Next thing we're going to want to do is go into repo and make a new fo folder called devs first of all and that's where your dev files are going to be created all right put that aside and now we're going to start building our dev file out of the package we just created but before we make a dev file we want to make sure all of the ds store files in this directory are deleted to avoid any problems if you don't know what ds store files are they're basically files that the Mac OS creates. It helps with something. I'm not entirely sure, but if they're in this directory, it's not going to work. So we need to make sure they're deleted. So go into the directory CD and drag in packages. Now you're in the package directory, and I found this website that tells you how to get rid of it. I'll put this in the description. You want to go to step five and copy this line of code and paste that in here. And if we wait, it should be deleted. Press enter, and all the um, DS store files are deleted. Yay. OK, so we're in the um, packages directory already. So now all we have to do is dpkg dash deb space dash b space the name of your package. So if we go in here, mine is lemon. This is the dev file I want to create, so I put lemon. And now we're going to go to the directory you want the dev file to be created in. So go in repo, devs, and simply drag that and press enter. Now you're going to get some warnings, don't bother that. But if you go into the devs folder, you should see a new dev file created, actually. Everything's named accordingly. 
and you're good to go. That's all you need to do. Now you have a dev file. Now what you want to do is go back into here and what you want to do now is go to CD um, repo. Next thing we want to do is we're going to make if we're going to do dpkg dash scan packages um, space devs space forward slash space right arrow space packages with a capital P press enter it's going to make a packages text document now what this basically does is it tells Cydia how many packages are actually on this repo so I have one it created this say I were to create another dev file in here I'd have to run the command I just did and it's going to um, list second bits of information here for the other package. And Cydia needs that to run. So we have our packages file created. Now what we want to do is bzip that. So we're, we're going to do bzip2 space dash fks space packages. Oh, I'm sorry. bzip2. I don't know why I didn't put the 2. And there we have it. A bzip package document and that's what Cydia reads anyway now I'll go back to this tutorial and it's gonna say gonna give you um host information so you wanna copy that and go in the text edit and paste and this is basically the information of your repo origin I'm gonna make um, that's the title of your repo Joe's repo label sweet we're gonna make stable version 0.9 code name basically the same thing as your title but with no spaces or caps so I'm just gonna do Joe's repo here architectures will keep at iPhone OS dash arm components main description which is the description of your repo I guess we'll keep do the same thing as label right there and that is that. So we'll press enter there. Title this. Uh, what was this called again? Release. That yeah. I'm sorry, but I just had like brain freeze right there. Release. And we'll put that in our repo folder. And there we go. So you've just created a city of repo. Congratulations. Now what we have to do is go into um, any FTP client to connect to your server. Um, here it is. I'm connecting to joegas.com. I'm going to go to public.html. And what I'm going to do is just drag in my repo folder here. And we are done. So if I go to Cydia, manage, add a source, repo, uh, joegas.com slash repo, it'll add. And let me just show you that, for example. Now I'm going to show you a working version of the repo we've just created. Alright guys, so I added the files to my server. Now if I open up Cydia here and wait for this to load, go over to manage, edit, and add. I'm just going to add joegas.com slash repo, which was the directory we created, add source, verifying URL, and looks like it detected a repo and it's downloading the release the packages everything seems to be working fine and it's reloading data with not a problem so once this is done we return to Cydia there it is Joe's repo click on that and there's the package lemon now if we install this it depends on mobile substrate. So when it's installing and you're finished, instead of saying return the Cydia, it's going to say restart springboard. There it is, because you need to restart your springboard to install a mobile substrate plugin. So now we have to do is just go there. We go into the notes app. I have a sample note right here. If we press the plus button, oh look something popped up lol dude congrats you edited something woohoo done that's what the plugin did completely pointless but that's how you make a city of repo add a package and install it hope you guys enjoyed anyway thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe and have a nice day